Welcome back to the History Lounge. I'm glad you're here. Today we're taking a look back at the years 1914 to 1918 through a stunning collection of colorized photos from World War I. Join me as we travel back in time over a hundred years to a time when soldiers on horseback took to battlefields alongside tanks and machine guns. I hope you enjoy this window through time as we take a new look back at the First World War in color. World War I, known at the time as the Great War, was triggered in 1914 when Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary was assassinated by a Bosnian Serb nationalist. When Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia on July 28, 1914, a complex web of allegiances and imperialist ambitions expanded the conflict, turning a regional issue into a global war that would lead to unprecedented destruction and loss of life. The onset of the war came at a time of rapid evolution in military technology, presenting a stark difference between the old and the new. At the start of the war, cavalry charges with soldiers brandishing swords and riding horses were still considered a viable military tactic rooted in centuries of traditional warfare. However, such time-honored tactics were quickly made obsolete as tanks and rapid-fire machine guns took to the battlefield. The period leading up to the war saw the development of quick-firing, recoil-operated cannons that could fire at faster rates and over longer distances without losing accuracy. Combined with the introduction of high-explosive shells, the destructive power of artillery increased substantially, enabling the mass destruction of fortifications, buildings, and anything else it was aimed at. Towns and villages were destroyed beyond recognition. Churches and other buildings that had stood for centuries were demolished in a matter of seconds. World War I was the first major conflict in which air power played a major role. Initially, planes were used for reconnaissance as pilots and observers would fly over battlefields and behind enemy lines to take photographs and gather information. As the war progressed, aircraft were adapted for ground attack roles, including firing machine guns at enemy troops and dropping bombs on strategic targets such as railroads and enemy fortifications. The concept of aerial combat emerged, with pilots engaging in dogfights with enemy planes. The tradition of the fighter ace was thus developed, with pilots gaining fame for their air-to-air -air combat skills. Other unique technologies were implemented during the war as well. Before the invention of radar, American troops used acoustic location equipment that could be used to determine the location of enemy aircraft by sound. 
a rather unconventional method of camouflaging ships was put into use during the war. Dazzle camouflage used bold patterns to break up the outline of a ship, making it difficult for enemy observers and U-boat commanders to estimate its type, size, speed, and direction of travel. During the war, dazzle camouflage was applied to a vast number of merchant and military ships of various sizes across the Allied navies. Animals played a role in the war as well. Horses were often more reliable than motor vehicles in the muddy, rough terrain of the battlefield and were vital for moving supplies, ammunition, and equipment. They also played a role in medical services, pulling ambulances and wagons used to evacuate soldiers from the front lines to field hospitals. In an era before widespread radio use, horses were also vital in communications, allowing for the rapid movement of messengers between units and command posts, a role they shared with carrier pigeons. Dogs played important roles in message delivery, sentry duties, mine and gas detection, and search and rescue. The contributions of these loyal animals were widely recognized during and after the war, with many dogs, horses, and even pigeons decorated for their bravery and service. Ultimately, World War I was a conflict that was fought in the trenches. Trenches were complex networks of defensive lines dug into the landscape that extended for miles. Frontline trenches were where the soldiers lived and fought under harsh conditions and constant threat from the enemy. The wet, cold, and unsanitary living conditions within the trenches led to physical infections, parasite infestation, and disease. The horror of witnessing death and severe injuries on a massive scale, losing comrades, and the constant stress of artillery bombardments and chemical attacks took a heavy toll on soldiers' mental health. As a result, soldiers fighting in the trenches were profoundly affected both physically and psychologically. The unique and brutal nature of trench warfare led to a wide range of physical hardships and mental traumas that had long-lasting effects. Following the end of the war in 1918, Americans returned home just in time for the Roaring Twenties to begin. To see what that looked like, just click this next video.